if you're going to see the Navy Pier fireworks today, hopefully you'll get a better view than this from our tower cam. You can partially see those colorful bursts above the dense low, low hanging fog, but the view from the ground that was even worse. The music sounds nice, right? You can hear the fireworks, but you can't see them leaving a lot to be desired for families who came downtown for some holiday fun. We saw the fireworks today. Well, we saw a little bit of the fireworks today. It was foggy. The fog was yeah. really uh, covering up the show. I felt bamboozled. Yeah, it was very disappointing. <laughs> They were bamboozled. Many people were hoping to catch a good show last night to avoid the expected crowds for the fireworks tonight. And with storms in the forecast, the weather may be an issue again today. CBS 2's Adriana Vegas is live along the lakefront with the contingency plan. You may remember last year, hundreds of thousands of people were out here along the lakefront. Storms and rain came rolling in, and so many people had to find cover, and they couldn't find it. This time around, Navy Pier has designated their parking garage as a shelter. It's all cement, no windows, no glass, so it's the prime spot to take cover if you're coming out and the weather turns. Now, the city and the pier are trying to avoid a repeat of last year. People complain they just didn't know where to go. So also a concern today, though, potential burns and injuries and fires from people shooting off their own fireworks. City officials reminding everyone that fireworks are illegal in the city of Chicago. Please take time to go to not only Navy Pier for our beautiful fireworks uh, presentation, but also the surrounding communities that have, pres have presentations for fireworks available. The other safety concern is any violence that could break out. To help with this, Chicago police are deploying 1,500 additional officers over the holiday. Our deployments will target areas where we expect the most people to be gathering, such as the beaches, lakefronts, and parks. Officers will also increase patrols through the city's many vibrant neighborhoods. These officers will be out on foot patrol as well on bikes and in their police vehicles. The mayor is urging people to take public transportation to get around tonight. She did emphasize that if you're worried about safety along CTA routes, CPD will be monitoring the cameras along the buses and train routes 24-7 just in case. We're live along the lakefront. Audrina Begas, CBS 2 News.